Tehran in the run-up to a key election. Iranians across the country will take part Friday in a ballot to elect their new president. Most of the campaigns have focused on the economy more than a year after the country's nuclear deal with world powers came into force. Among voters, feelings are mixed. We're in a difficult situation. Politicians just give statistics and they say we have economic development, but we can't really see it in everyday life. It's not real. It's just a number. The economic situation improved after Hassan Rouhani came into power and the nuclear deal took place. We hope that the next president, maybe Rouhani again, will be able to improve the situation. Only six candidates were allowed to run this year. The two favorites are conservative Ibrahim Raisi and the moderate cleric and incumbent Hassan Rouhani. Unofficial polls show Rouhani in the lead. But with unemployment at 12.5 percent, he faces a battle for re-election as his promises of massive foreign investment have not materialized. A boon for his opponents, who have focused on the poor and promised to create millions of jobs. Hassan Rouhani did manage to tame inflation, but on the other hand we have stagnation which increases unemployment and economic problems. So some people have a negative view of Rouhani and his economic performance. But the outgoing president has asked for patience. At a rally in Tehran, Rouhani framed Friday's vote as a choice between greater freedom and repression, also vowing to end remaining sanctions. People. I have kept the promises that I made to you four years ago. And if I didn't finish some of them, it's because I was prevented from keeping them. Rouhani can boast about a return of oil sales, with exports doubling since the deal. But many fear the past year's progress could evaporate if conservatives win on Friday, as they would likely take a much less open approach to the West.